Hey there you guys, welcome back to my channel. So the lighting might be a little off because I actually forgot to film an intro to today's video which is uh, the almost a full face of Charlotte Tilbury products and I've already put away all my lights. So all I have is a ring light right in front of me and I'm hoping the lighting is okay. But let me assure you that uh, the rest of the video, the lighting is on point. So if you would like to see how I try on uh, a full face of Charlotte Tilbury, then just keep on watching. Okay, you guys. So let's start up with the complexion now i already primed because i actually don't have a uh, primer but i do have a foundation so this is the flawless airbrush flawless foundation and the shade that i have is three neutral so let me just open that up and this is what it looks like super heavy super fancy packaging now i heard that this is a very and i mean very full coverage foundation so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put just one pump of that product and then i'm going to take my sponge and just start kind of working it into my skin because i do not want a super full coverage sort of uh look i just want something something so let me just zoom you in that seems like a really good shade for me funny enough i guess myself and my friend are more or less the same sort of um, um shade so why wouldn't it work okay so that is the foundation on my skin honestly i actually really like it because i can sheer it out and bam it looks very natural hmm. am i liking it i also have a concealer it's a sample but i think we can still make it work oh, there's this fucking hair mangoes here of course on my face so we have this kind of range so the first one is you so i'm not gonna do that it's opened so i think i'm gonna go with shade number three because it seems like it's kind of yellow but it seems lighter than the other ones so i'm just gonna open that up this is what that shade looks like i'm afraid it's gonna be too dark now let's see yeah it seems that shade seems a tad bit too dark so i'm gonna try the third the second one oh they're all kind of dark so this is shade number two hmm I don't know I don't know I don't know whoa it's thick and I mean it it's freaking thick it seems very drying so let me just take my sponge and try to blend that out yeah it's a very dry okay i had to adjust the um the white balance i think it's called right um because it was it it was just looking weird i did not like how i looked in the viewfinder so i'm hoping this is a little bit better so this is what that um concealer is looking like and yeah it's looking a little bit um dry not a fan of that but let me and it's super thick like really really thick super strange um my friend she did tell me that she's not a fan of this particular one because of how drying and how thick it felt for her 
so yeah I can for sure see that so I'm just going to blend out the other eye I do have to say that it blends out quite nice and quite quickly I mean it provides a very full coverage so if this is what you are looking for I think you would like it but bear in mind that you probably do need a lot of hydration underneath your eyes for this not to look super dry what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the one that the other one that I opened fair three and I'm going to apply it here on my pimples to try and cover them up as well and on my chin in general because seems that the foundation gets rubbed off my chin the quickest so let's just blend that out okay i am now going to set underneath my eyes and i have this instant look of love in a palette pretty blushed a beauty palette this one has the powder in it so I am going to take my uh, brush that I used to set underneath my eyes and just use that powder to set my under eyes. So I'm going to take a little bit of that powder and I'm just going to go and set it. Hmm, right. It does seem that if you apply a lot, it will darken your concealer. I can see that right here. So you do have to be careful because it will darken your under eyes, your face as well. So it is time for cream uh, products. So I have this Hollywood contour wand this is the easy contour so um, it already has a little bit of product this is the one with the fluff ball and I'm just going to start drawing on my face and then I'm going to take let's see if this will work a brush like this and I'm just going to start blending this out okay it's not as bad i know i heard that you know this product is not as bad as it looks because it applies a very very pigmented but once you actually start blending it out it blends out super quickly and super easily so i'm really loving that product i'm going to add just a little bit more here because why not beautiful and I'm going to take my sponge and go over this just to make sure that all of the edges are nice are nicely blended oh this hair Okay, so this is what my skin looks like with the product and without definitely see a difference um as a cream blush i am actually going to use a charlotte tilbury lipstick because i don't have a cream blush from her so this is the wedding bells shade so what i'm going to do is i'm going to apply a good bit on my hand just like that and then i'm going to take a brush like this this already had some blush on it but that's okay because i actually was going to use just a different company blush but i was like hey i can use a lipstick for that and that should fix the problem okay so that's applied and now i'm just going to blend this out beautiful beautiful color look at that guys 
works super well as a blush so if you're ever in a pinch and i look it looks a lot on the camera but in real life kind of looks more natural it might be the uh what balance that i changed that does this but i'm actually loving myself in real life <laughs> but i am going to tone it down just a teeny bit with my sponge as always wow and plus we're going to apply powder on top as well so that's gonna disappear anyway but i am loving that such a pretty color on your face as well so for the liquid highlight i actually have this hollywood flawless filter this is the shade three which is a light medium might be a tad bit too dark but we'll see we'll make it work i'm going to apply just a little bit on my high point and i'm going to blend it out with the sponge oh this creates such a lovely do you see that a glassy sort of look beautiful and let's do the other side as well i would prefer a lighter color maybe if i were to buy this for myself i'd probably go with shade two because this one just seems a tad bit too dark but this is what it looks so blends out seamlessly i'm loving it okay and now that all the cream products are applied i'm actually just going to set my face and i'm again going to use the flawless powder from this palette and i'm going to take my huge brush because i just love using it for powder and i'm just going to tap away i do have to say like for so many people absolutely raving over this powder it seems like one of the one of those products that i don't think i would be interested in because yeah it just doesn't seem like the powder that is truly translucent to work on my skin and to work on other skin tones as well it just seems like a little bit of an overpriced uh product so not a fan of that but you know to each their own the powder is definitely a no for me but we're gonna have you know a roundup at the end of the video anyway okay so okay we're gonna do the whole shebang so um this is my own i actually own it uh this is the film star bronze and glow and it has the contour and the uh highlighter in here so what i'm going to do is i am actually going to take a contour brush for contour i actually use a fan brush and i'm going to apply the contour on the brush and i'm just going to sculpt my cheeks just here to add a little bit of definition because we're going to use the actual bronzer as well but we do want a little bit of sculpt here and then for bronzer i have the airbrush a bronzer this one is in the shade two and this is what it looks like absolutely beautiful let's see how it performs on the skin because this was on my wish list actually so let's see yeah i can definitely see it's the same formula as that powder but in a bronzer, it's actually not a bad idea. And it's lightly pigmented from what I can see. Blends up really nicely. Hmm. This bronzer, I think, is a goal from me. <laughs> of 
course it's the most probably is it the most no the yeah i think it might be the most expensive thing from in this box it's like what 50 60 euro or something like that so of course it's the one thing that i really love not the only thing because i really like the foundation as well but i'm just getting ahead of myself actually talking too much way too much and then i also have a blush if i can find it so this is the um cheek to chic swish and pop blusher in the shade ecstasy so this is how ecstasy looks and i'm just going to take my brush and i'm going to swirl and pop tap the excess and apply this on my cheeks hmm okay this is very natural maybe yeah if i apply a little bit more of that middle shade which has a little bit more pigment to it i would be actually able to i would be actually able to what the fuck uh to, i would be able to see a little bit of color from that on my cheeks hmm but maybe a different color would work better for moi yeah mm -hmm. hmm I'm not sure about this one it could be just the color is not uh you know bright enough for me I'm a little bit on the fence about that and of course going back to my Filmstar Bronze and Glow palette I'm going to use that highlight which as you can see I've actually already hit pan on which is super super exciting let's just apply that and the cupid's bow and of course the cupid's bow did I see this? no the bridge of the nose and the cupid's bow okie dokie so actually what i'm going to do is i am going to um do my brows off camera because i don't have any brow products and i'm going to prep my eyelids and then we will uh, get on with the eyeshadow Okay, so the eyes are done and this is what they look like I have some thoughts but uh, before I do that uh, let me just finish off my lips and then just setting spray and then we can discuss everything so first I'm going with the uh, pillow tag lip 
cheat uh, lip liner and I'm just going to line my lips and I'm going to fill them in as well okay that's perfect then I am gonna go back to that wedding bells lipstick and I'm going to apply that so she goes very well together wow that's matte thank god we have a lip gloss okie dokie that's the lips done and i'm gonna go to my pillow talk lip gloss look at this it's in the shape of a heart this is the cutest thing i've ever seen so cute and i'm just going to apply that on my lips oh. it's a weird applicator but it's so cute and wow that is thick and minty i don't mind it okay what a beautiful, beautiful combo. I'm just gonna wipe off that applicator. Really, really pretty. Mm, Charlotte Tilbury definitely does lip products really well. And for the last step, of course, I want everything to be um, same place, although it's eight o'clock. Can you see that? Can you see that? Yeah, eight o'clock. But I'm going to uh, spritz my face anyway, just a little bit. So this is the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Best setting, best high-end setting spray that I've ever tried. So good. Beautiful. Just to refresh my face. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going, just going to fix up my hair. And I'll be right back with the wrap-up. Okay, so... I am all fixed up. I really just kind of only brush them through because they actually seem to look quite nice and very voluminous. So, okay, it is time for the wrap up. I'm gonna start from uh, the base and then, you know, progress along how we actually did um, our makeup or how I did my makeup. So I started off with the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. Absolutely love it. My skin is matte but it is it's it just looks flawless now it has very full coverage so with the pump that i did was more than enough for my whole face and even if i wanted a more dewy or a more kind of medium to light coverage sort of look i could mix it with a moisturizer and i think it would work well but i do really enjoy it and i would definitely want to um have this in my collection and then i used uh, this concealer i don't like it it is super super full coverage super thick and super drying and for it you know for the consistency that it has it's actually quiet uh or it sinks into my fine lines still so yeah this is definitely not something that um that was enjoyable I, I i didn't really like it so i would not recommend that then i used uh, the powder from this uh palette it is the flawless powder it's this one right here again i didn't like it you guys it made my under eyes um uh, it darkened my under eyes that's for once and it, it has weird coverage but it kind of sets my makeup but then again if i touch my skin it, it kind of still feels tacky now that might be because of the uh setting spray but even though like i didn't put setting spray here on my uh, neck and i put like i bounced my sponge with my foundation here and it still is kind of tacky so yeah that powder is definitely not something that um combination skin girls would like so wasn't a fan of that then i put the hollywood contour wand i love this this is so good easy to blend out although it looks pigmented blends out in a breeze uh the color is absolutely beautiful it is definitely something that i will 
purchase to have in my collection and then for blush i used uh, the lipstick again this is in the shade wedding bells beautiful as a lipstick and beautiful as a blush would definitely consider purchasing uh, her lipsticks because they're just gorgeous and they work like i said very well as a blush and you know as an actual lipstick then for my liquid slash cream highlighter i use the hollywood flawless filter this was lovely uh the color was a tad bit too dark i think for me um this is fine i'm kind of on the fence about this one i don't think this would be something that i would need in my collection however it was nice to use but i don't think i need it in my life honestly after we've uh, powdered our faces i used the charlotte tilbury uh bronzer this is the airbrush bronzer i love this this looks so so freaking good oh i used that contour as well i forgot about that this is so good i really want this it is beautiful it blends out super easily gives a beautiful color not too much not too little chef's kiss now going back a little bit i used the sculpt side from my film star bronze and glow uh, palette i already own this i love it i use it as a bronzer and as a contour which it seems to work very well for those two things then i used the cheek to cheek uh, blush this is in the shade ecstasy i think this is just too light because i can barely see it actually what i'm going to do because i saw that this palette also has a blush here like i don't like that swish pop what what's it called cheek to cheek blush it just doesn't necessarily give me the look that I'm going for. So I'm going to take my blush brush and I'm going to dip into the blush that's here in that palette. That seems a little bit more pigmented and see what that does. Is it doing anything? Yep, okay. This is definitely, oh, and it's so smooth. Yeah, see, this is what I am looking for from my blush to give me a little bit of color now i don't need much but i don't want it to look nude you know that's not why i'm putting on blush oh look at this beautiful now i recommend the blush from this palette but i do not recommend the cheek to cheek blushes or maybe not this particular shade ecstasy for someone with my skin tone because it just doesn't show up unless you're really into natural makeup then maybe yeah but it just kind of looks like a slightly peacher powder on my skin then i went back to my film star film star palette and i used the highlighter again i already own it so i know that i love it okay and then i went off camera and i did my eyes and let me tell you <sighs> the eyeshadows are the biggest disappointment for me and i i don't know what to say my friend she absolutely adores these eyeshadows she, like she she swears by them she uses them on, on her clients and everything and I was like oh god okay then i can't wait to try them because they just seem so you know great but i'm very disappointed you guys i don't think i would want to have any of these in my collection because they are very very subtle like you need to stay there and build and build and build and with that building you get freaking fallout like i had a dark brown eyeshadow here and i had to remove that with some powder and it was the a whole ordeal and uh, like these are very pretty but they don't really stick on a dry base you need something wet underneath on or you need to wet them um oh this is the pillow talk um quad i didn't use that one because the colors although they look beautiful they just seem so light so i did actually try to use this shade right here on the other eye that i did off camera 
and it didn't even show up so <laughs> that's a real disappointment and then i used this um the sophisticate um quad the most and even though it's like the more cool tone the more darker one it still feels like i had to build it up so much like guys i am just so disappointed although the eye look looks nice it's just these eyeshadows are there and i had less thick eye teeth <laughs> They're way too easy to work with. You know what I mean? Like they don't really have that much pigment. You need to build them and build them and build them. And it just takes ages. Not for me. What I do like though is uh, the eyeshadows in this palette. Because they seem to have a little bit of a different formula. They're a little bit more pigmented. Which is more my, my speed. Uh, but yeah, these quads. The biggest disappointment ever. Then I use this Full Fat Lashes Mascara. I do really enjoy it actually. I was not expecting to like it after the Charlotte, uh, the what is it called, Pump Up Lashes Mascara that I tried. And uh, that was, it was fine, but it wasn't my favorite. This I did really enjoy. And then second to last part are lips. I these two I own myself so I know I love them and I've tried the lipstick for the first time on my lips today and it is really lovely. The colour is beautiful, the formula is super matte so maybe I know she has like the kissing formula, maybe that would uh, be better for moi but uh, nevertheless it's a beautiful it's a beautiful concept let's say it like that and then the last product i used was this airbrush flawless setting spray which i again already own myself and i absolutely love it is the best long lasting uh, setting spray that you could ever have and it beats the urban decay one in my opinion so by the looks of it i actually would not need to buy a lot after trying this video because i would only kind of want to try out of what i tried today these four products so the lipstick the bronzer the contour wand and the foundation because we worked in my opinion really really well on my skin now i wouldn't mind trying this palette as well but maybe a different one that didn't have the powder and the bronzer because they're kind of redundant for me i already have the bronzer and the powder i don't like so Oh yeah, let's not forget the mascara, but I would not repurchase because it is a high-end mascara and I don't see the point of that. Oh god, okay, I am very hopeful that this almost full face of Charlotte Tilbury kind of helped you. It definitely helped me to kind of reel myself in and be like, okay, this is what I've tried and this is what actually works on my skin. This is what I like, this, act this is what fits my style and the other products are not for me okay that is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to give this video a like and let me know in the comments down below which other uh brand would you like me to do a full face of um uh, but yeah that is it thank you very much and i will see you in the next one bye Mwah. <laughs>